<laughs> hey guys, Blake Show here with the Buck Bomb along with Sean Cook. Today, as promised, we're going to hit you up with our Facebook Live and we're going to yeah. go into some of the, the hanging block attractions tonight. We are setting up more cameras and uh, we're actually behind the office and funny story, kind of when Rut came around last year, someone who got here like real early before the sun came up saw a buck running right here, you know, grunting and all that. So. There is deer in this area, and we're going to set up a camera with some of our block attractants and tell you a little bit about them. Absolutely. So as you can see, you know, tonight we're kind of on a, a trail right here that kind of wraps around, you know, this ridge. And uh, I think we'll kind of go around here and it kind of plateaus out. And that's where we'll try and set up a camera right. and, and hang some of these blocks. So we got the atomic acorn and our two different flavors of depth the charge. Sweet potato and uh, a white oak acorn as well. It'll be interesting to see uh, what, what kind of deer we, we do see on the, the camera here. <laughs> yeah. Since it's a little bit different location than the previous weeks. So let's head back that Sweet. way. Sweet. Following your bike. How well our cameraman can, uh, can follow without his hand. We're gonna make it. It is hot and humid here in Georgia. The mosquitoes are out. It's been raining this belt every day. You know, we'll just open up one of each flavor and kind of mm -hmm. hang it on there. Yeah. And that tree back there, we'll put the camera on and see what we got passing through and if anything comes by. And these box are, stop. these blocks are pretty much deer candy. And uh, each one of them has an integrated strap that um, you can just tie on straight to any eye level branch. And it's great for the deer. It'll keep them off the ground for, uh, you know, coons and such. Let's take a look at that uh, atomic acorn you got there, Blake. Yeah. yeah. Getting out of the package. And this actually has real acorns in it. Like Sean was saying, it's really just a, a hard candy. You know, like a big lollipop yeah. for deer. Has a lot of salt in it. Deer love salt. As well as with, you know, other natural ingredients. Yeah. Go and open up the sweet potato. I'm pretty interested to see what we get back here on camera. Here's what we got. There's a fist. Got a good That's size. A big old acorn right there, Blake. Good like. size block of candy that we're here feeding the deer with. Okay. Like, yeah. Nice little limb here. Let's see how sturdy it is. I think, I think it'll do. We got some vines kind of holding it up. I don't think it'll fall. Nice little camera tree around here. Do you have a knife again, Mike? Yeah, just hung it right on the, right on the limb there. See, it's quite obviously a lot of foliage on the on the trees this time of year. You gotta kind of just hike it in and get through the spider webs and the, the 
they were saying earlier, the mosquitoes and everything. The mosquitoes are out. Yeah, but uh, that's why they make bug spray. But we do have the first one up here. You know, I didn't even just kind of trimmed off one of the one of the little branches there and hung it right off it, and just a little bit above the ground so the deer can easily get to it. And uh, set up a trail cam. Uh, just like you normally would and uh, just face it right towards it. We're back here full in with these trying to get them out. Here got we the, have got the depth charge. Sweet potato. You can uh, you can do like we did earlier and, um, and trim off a yep. old branch right or here. um or you can put it through and hang it on branch. itself. Yeah, once you show them, Sean, how you can loop it through and hang it on itself. Like that? Yeah. Why are we... Let's see this going bad. Cooks in the stabbing, so... This thing is sticky. I've almost got it. <laughs> got it there. Putting it through. And uh, work. we've go. got number two. We got we've got we got acorns and we've got sweet potatoes now. Let's do the same why, thing with that one. Why don't we put a few more acorns and we'll show them the the, the whole acorns well, that are actually in this one when we when we get it out of there. Kind of rub it like side to side, cook. Here, let's, let me show you. Got there it. There you go. And Tony, you want to zoom in here? Actually, show them the acorns on the bottom of this. And so, we, in here in Georgia, we've been getting a lot of rain lately, and it's actually okay for these to get a little bit of rain on them because they will kind of melt exactly. uh, slow, very slowly yep. and actually drop these acorns on the ground. Yeah, the, I mean, the whole thing, just like a sucker, uh, as it goes in there, is going to start melting and dripping on the ground and really turn itself into, like, the napalm or some of the liquids that we put out last week, so. Okay, th this one's actually going to be a little bit easier to <laughs> hope you want to show them here. Get easier than that. There you go. Take a bite out of that cook. Oh, I've got it all on my a, hands for take, later. Take a lick on it. it Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Take, take yeah. a bite out of there. Yes, strong teeth. Some good stuff there. You know, I wouldn't take your girlfriend out to eat with with this all thing, right, but I'll take a bite out of it's good. It's good. Get in there. Wait, you already ate. Oh, here oh. we go. A little dessert. Mm. Yeah, you see that? Look at that bite. Yep. That's good stuff. <laughs> Just like candy. Mm -hmm. Hey, we take what we can get, you know. Sometimes we have to skip, you know, afternoon snacks, so we come over here and we nibble on these. But these are not for human consumption. <laughs> but obviously, you can see we're not worried. It, it is all natural ingredients, yep. and we're we've tried everything. We confident have. that we got the the best tasting stuff we can put out Absolutely. for the deer. Cool. So we got we got a, a serious branch of of our hard cooked hanging attractants here. We got. Like Who said, could resist this? The atomic acorn, made with real acorns and, and extracts. We got two depth charges, the sweet potato, and none other than the white oak acorn with the whole acorns that will drop on the ground as this as this slowly starts to, to melt over multiple weeks' time. And and Blake's over here getting the camera on our uh, our ultimate hang our ultimate branch of hanging attractants tell you what if you're if you're a deer in this area you've got a pretty much a smorgasbord of uh of options yeah. to come come chew on tonight there's actually some fields out here too so we might be catching them coming right out yep yep we've got some fields off on the edge of uh the strip of timber over here and um, so like we're kind of standing on a game trail here so this is probably a pretty good spot yeah this is a good little Old pathway for for deer and other critters to to walk along. It's like it's a little little drainage. So obviously, you know, you want to put up your cameras and and look sites, bait sites, and areas where you're going to get a lot of traffic from from those animals to kind of take an inventory on what you've got in the area. So we're yeah. live and we're I taking guess. pictures of you two fools. 
Also, uh -oh. in front of our candy. We better walk away before we break the camera. Yep. <laughs> break the camera and uh, scare away all the deers. So yeah. Let's get our, uh, well, the ears. our trash picked up and we'll head back towards the truck. Yep. Always, uh, always pick up after yourself when in the woods and we certainly uh, want to follow that rule and uh, Leave it like you left we want to preserve, like the, preserve the, the area and resource like you left it. Now we won't be hunting here. This is, this is more just a curiosity thing um, just to see what kind, of, uh, what kind of animals are in the area here. So we will check on that camera later and um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we got a we got several viewers going right now. We are there any questions about what we put out? There? I, don't, I haven't seen any questions yeah. come up yet, you guys. If there's any, I'll let you know. The blunts are pretty self-explanatory. They're good stuff. Deer love them. You know, you don't have to hang them. You can put them put them on a stump or put them on a yeah, rock. Just, just like a lick side block. Exactly. You guys get to maybe a little more flat spot here. We yeah. can uh, we can stop and talk for a second. All right. Flat, so, I'll tell you, I think it's gonna be pretty tough to find a flat spot here. All right, well, I'll tell you what. You know, I, I'm just waiting to find out who won the bragging board giveaway this week. Well, light us up. Big cookie. Here, give me. What do we here. got? Well, I got it. Uh oh. He's got. Thought I lost he's, it. He's got it's the piece of ballot. paper. Thought I was gonna have to give it to myself. So the bragging board, if you've been if you've been following us each week. It's uh, basically it's the opportunity to mm -hmm. to share what trail camera pictures you're getting out in the field this year. So each week you can share those with us, and 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 the way you enter to 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 win the giveaway each week is share that that bragging board post, mm -hmm. and you have the opportunity to win either a bag of deer domination yep. or your choice of a buck bomb four inch yep. urine detonator combo with an, with the buck bomb mm -hmm. hat. It's your choice of the, uh, you know, the detonator combo with four ounce, and then the, um, the deer domination, and your choice of a buck bomb hat. And I've got one on here. There's also a blue, which is uh, pretty cool stuff. And so I think it's time that, for the winner that, that's here. That's what he just said. <laughs> just, just reiterating All here. Right. Tell us the winner. The winner is Mike Fischel. Hey, Mike. So Mike, you are a winner. Contact us. We can't contact you on the buck bomb page. Um, reach out to us, and we will. You know, let you decide your choice and get your get your stuff to you. Yeah, so there's there's a few weeks left of the bragging board. Mm -hmm. Be sure to post them. The bucks are growing right now. We've seen a lot of, a lot of growth in velvet. The bulbs are growing. The antlers are growing. Mm -hmm. So show show us what you're putting out on camera and uh, let us know what you're using for attractants or mm -hmm. what you guys are setting up as far as mock scrapes. You know, we're not quite yeah, to what that you're putting part in of front of your season, cameras. But you know, attractants and excuse me, things like that. And actually. So we're on week six of the bragging board right now. They're, we're going to do two more weeks, week seven and week eight. And on week eight, we're going to do a grand prize giveaway. We're going to we're going to compile all of our favorite, our top five favorite photos that have been submitted to us during the eight weeks. Are we going to let them vote? And we're going to let everybody watching here today, we're going to let everybody viewing out there choose what their favorite photo is. And uh, that person is going to win the grand prize of a buck bomb mock scrape kit. That's right. yeah. so not, not just today, all of our social that, media that's, fo followers. That's yep. correct. Anybody that out there that is following the buck bomb page. But uh, hey, we sure do appreciate those people watching right now. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Every week, you know, we we enjoy doing this. So we're getting inventory on deer that's in our area, and you know, yep. help, helping people show us some, some setups and things that that may have questions in some of our new yep. products that we're launching. With buck bomb. Them, showing them options that you know setting up sites sure yeah so. so we do have one question Richard O'Connor says so referring to the attractions we just put up said so is it on the market yet it is in the market so you can get it off of the buckbomb.com page yep. as well as a lot of your retailers are starting to pick these up and put up I was at Walmart last night and I see they're already stocking up their fall hunting mod yeah. with a lot of deer Getting hunting ready. and archery stuff so you know, here in the south, southeast mm -hmm. is all the way up through some of the northern states. You're gonna start seeing those mods grow. So, yeah, definitely go, go pick one up. Give get it at a try. retail, and if nothing, if you can't find it at a local retailer, yeah. get on BuckBomb.com and you can definitely get it off of Absolutely. there. Absolutely, cool. All right, guys, you got anything else for us today? 
That's all I got. I'm getting hot. Mm -hmm. I think it's time yeah. to cool off. Get yeah. a few mosquito bites. That's right. We need to get out of this mosquito haven in the woods here. <laughs> Cool off with a cold adult beverage and yeah. relax a little bit for the night. I Absolutely. would not uh, argue with that, Blake. All right, guys, we appreciate everybody joining yeah. in tonight. And don't forget, post your trail camp pictures, shoot us any questions, and we're going to be back again next week. Thursday That's right. Night, so. Awesome, guys. All right, thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you. See ya.